bass lake fishing today. The other guy already took off, and then I'm gonna go find Matt. He's at the boat we're in. But it's not too far. And then yeah, we got this one too. Not rigged up yet. Matt, is that you? You see me? <laughs> I'm all like I wasn't too sure you're hugging the coast or hugging the shoreline super tight. Is it? I was looking for somebody trolling. <laughs> Spotted bass on the downriver. What the heck? 35 feet deep. That is crazy. Have to bite your mouth so I don't get hooked. A little spotted bass. Come on. Huh? Eh, maybe eleven incher. 12 at most. Huh? Yeah. That was weird. As soon as I dropped it down to 35, it took it. I'm just using my, uh, my homemade downrigger. It sure is nice. Not having much boats out here other than that one boat. And then my buddy Matt's on this side. And then Jeff is going back to the car to grab his uh, net core. So far, the one bass. I think Jeff got two bites. And Matt got two or three bites. And then the one boat caught one fish. Right in the middle. So the short line hasn't been doing much. And I'm trying to do the deeper water. So I'm down at 40 feet deep on my downrigger with my crankbait and then this side I'm closer to the surface and I'm gonna zigzag and see if I can pull something up but other than that can't beat this nice cool weather almost well pretty much no wind water like glass and look at the scenery can't beat it perfect oh. Fish on. 35 feet deep? What could you be? A trout? Feels like a trout. Nice, nice rainbow. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> 35 feet deep. Man, they're deep. This thing too. Oh, you snagged. Man, they're deep today. Thirty five feet deep. That is crazy. Major fish on the surface. Water to the face. <laughs> Not bad. The 
surface, the water is too warm. It's only 70 degrees on the surface. So, when well, it's too hot out front on the top, the trouts are deep. They, they like the colder water, so they're down deep. So, gonna try it again. Castle back. Good amount of range from the downrigger. And then, drop it back down. Hopefully, another strike. Awesome. All right, back down to 35 feet. Oh, forgot to open the bell. I actually got one, 35 feet. I was cruising along the 40 feet on the bottom and I was bouncing, I thought it was rocks and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, that's a fish strike. <laughs> so I put it up and yeah, 35 feet deep. They're like over there, there's like a, a patch of school that I swim in and out. I'll find them and I'll lose them and I'll find them again. I kept on making loops, but yeah, they're deep. My shallow one on the surface, not a single bite. What was it, the kokies? No, rainbow. Not rainbow. It's not too bad. Probably about 12 inch. But all the boats are going that way, or at least I've seen boats going that way, so. I don't know, that might be better. Yeah, we can fly. Can I head south? Yeah. Because up here it looks kind of. Shallow, shallow. Over there, I'm just the only way, reason why I'm thinking south is the dam might be a lot cooler and maybe they might be a little bit more near the surface. But I could be wrong. I thought about going by the docks and casting over there. there are yeah, there are a lot of fish by the docks too. So I'm like either that or go to the dam. It's like go a little bit more toward the dam. It's like I'm gonna try to go over there too, cause I don't know where the fish are at today. Like you see them, but they're not catching much. This one a little deeper, not too deep, just a little deeper. Let's see if I can entice one of those deeper fish to take a bite, take a strike at it. I guess Jeff, what I took off to, 
I headed toward this way, and then uh, Matt and Jeff were on the west side. So I figured the east side looks better, so I came toward the east side to try to catch a fish on this side. And it seems like I found a spot. There's some fish on this side. I need a shrimp last night. Or I've been marinating, I'm still marinating. Some crab paste and Thai chili, all kinds of salsa. Gonna throw that right above my sausage, which are in here. Commented on one of my videos about my, uh, my garlic. My excessive views of garlic and the peel and all. And there you go again. Garlic with the peel on. Sausage, shrimp, I marinade, and garlic and onion. So, some of you have been asking me about how well it sits underneath the compass and that's a clearance pretty good the phone right in between on both sides and the bottom just barely enough to touch the bottom and yeah pretty good so for that placement it's a couple of people asked me where to place it at and it's right next to the scupper hole so Scupper hole straight down. That's a good spot too. I like it a little bit further up front, but right there fits really well. And that's the one with the good clearance where it touches four pieces of the kayak. So it's good. <laughs> 